Anyway, after beating two Mavericks, a interesting mechanic of you have to fight the actual X Hunters in the stages also. Those were the doors that were kind of in the middle of the stages. So if you fight them, you'll get a part of zero back. And you only have like a, a few, I'm not too sure exactly what it is, but you can fail it. And that's kind of goes with the, the good ending and the bad ending type thing. Ooh. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to do weakness order and I have developed a way to actually fight the X Hunters and go in weakness order also. I won't have the weakness for the X Hunters, but that's besides the point. Anyway, going from Bubble Crab, we are going to go to Flame Stag. And as you can see on the map, one of the X Hunters is in Flame Stag stage. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yes. I have to say, I didn't really like X2's music right when I heard it at first, and it took me a while to actually get into it a little bit, but I do about to say I really like X's, X2's music. Anyway, we got this beetle. We're going to ride him to the top here, and we are going to get our first subject, which is fantastic. And then also, I didn't want him to despawn, actually. Up we go. Up, 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 up. Up, up. All right, over here. Over here. Woohoo. Oh, well. Where do you go? We're going to use him to get this life, also. And we're going to use this to get that. I wanted to actually kill him first. Actually, we're going to keep um, keep the wheel. Do not get that life, it's a trap. <laughs> because we got lava flowing upwards. We're going to use the spin wheel to kill that thing very fast. And up here. And if you actually get hit, you got energy over there. Now, like pretty much every other Mega Man game, lava, this lava doesn't really instantly kill you, which is interesting. But I guess X's um, have a tolerance to lava. Not spikes, but lava. We're going to have him destroy this wall, get this up here, and here's one of these rooms. Let's charge up and go inside. I am Sturgis, and I cannot allow you to stop the unification. It is for the good of all. Okay, so this is Sturgis. I don't have his weakness. His weakness is, um... The, uh, override uh, overdrive ostriches thing, and he really is being a pain in the ass right now. Let's just say. But the thing is, he has a shield on, which really is interesting because you can kind of shoot it through. And I'm really doing a bad. I can usually do this without even getting almost hit. But unfortunately, he is jumping, 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 jumping. Which really causes a lot of slowdown also. But you want to charge him and you want to kind of shoot his head. Because, you know, he kind of reminds me of um, Dr. Jiro in Dragon Ball. <laughs> or was it Android 20 or 19 in Dragon Ball Z? Or Z, whatever you want to call it. You can get rid of his mines by doing just a half charge shot. Which is probably good because you want to... If you do half charge shot to his head, it won't actually work, so... Oh man, he's really just being a pain right now. Ooh. 
All right, one more. It's just the slowdown really is killer, and you kind of have to use the slowdown. You have for your merely advantage. delayed the inevitable. We will meet again. And you got zero part number one. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, you kind of have to use the slowdown as your advantage to kind of... When he uh, jumps down. Or jumps up in there and shoots. Kind of use it to see where the bullets are going to be coming from. And then go in between them. Unless he continues the jump, which really is annoying and... That's what he, of course, does. Play this game all the time, practice it, and again... Getting it to, uh, there. Holy cow. Anyway, we're going up this, um, can um... Passageway, I guess? And it's full of gas. And we got, um, flame-tailed... Enemies. That ignites the gas, and... Makes it difficult, but it, it doesn't last, so just kill the enemies, wait for the fire to cool down. That's it. Simple stuff. And seeing that this is flame stag stage, and we've just beaten Bubble Crab, we're going to use bubbles on him. Oh yeah. And here he is. He is uh, kind of like Sigma from the first one. I would just wait until he jumps up, goes down, and boom! And he is... You can stun lock this guy and be absolutely great. You just jump over his first projectile and just hit him. And simple as this. Done. So, so it's like almost as... I think it may be even easier than um, Spark Midriff in the first one. Because the thing is, you you don't want to hit him and then keep on constantly hit him because he has his invincibility frame. So you want to jump over his first thing that he shoots below, hit him, nail him in the head with some bubbles, and there you go. Stun lock him. Victory. Again, I'll show how you can do that with the uh, with the uh, with the, just the X Buster in, in another video. So we got uh, I think f f Speed Burner. I'm not 100% sure what it is. 